Now we do some little head sticking up here. And he's going to throw something down there. Okay, now the equation of motion. So the way to do the acceleration due to gravity is you come out here, you sort of get the stopwatch, you press zero, you climb up here, jump off the balcony, <laughs> and then just before you hit the ground, you press the stop, and you hope that the mobile phone survives. And you've timed your fall, and then you can work out the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, that's the sort of don't attempt this at home experiment. A smart way to do this is you have a fulcrum, you have a piece of string, you have a weight, and then the thing to do is get a heavy book. The Road to Reality by Roger Penrose, which describes uh, the structure of the universe in terms of curved space. In fact, most of it's about curved space. But it also tries to describe force and energy. And then this one's HTML. L equals 55 centimeters. Games calculator, stopwatch, issues. So I move this here. Release this and press start. 48, 49, 50. Which is 73.85 seconds, I think. You see, some of the digits just drop out. I only need to work out pi squared over t50 times l, and I get the digits. Oh, wait a minute. Is it the square of the time? Yeah, in fact it's not worked out at all because this should be t square. So basically it was a, an error in this algebra here rather than the sort of physics. Which actually just shows that when I do mathematics it's a poor servant of physics. But this type of pendulum experiment, there are some people who've got all sorts of weird theories that, you know, pendulums leap around during eclipses. And there's some people that sort of use pendulum experiments to sort of question the whole sort of basis of sort of modern science by saying, you know, when these gravitational anomalies happen, the pendulum goes wild, therefore Einstein was wrong sort of thing. Right. And there's a certain amount of literature written on this. You can always sort of do a Google search on pendulum experiments plus eclipse and you'll sort of find all this sort of weird sort of stuff. And is there any truth in it? Uh, I have no idea, but there's a friend of mine or a previous university friend who sort of uh, writes about it quite a lot, but he's written about quite a lot of different things. He normally writes sort of idiotic letters to Times Online. Okay, that's 135. Yeah, now I've got G is 991. Alright, that's pretty pretty accurate, isn't it? And it should be sort of 981. It shows that you can do physical experiments in sort of a very limited amount of space. Yeah. And this essentially could be a message to parents with school children. Better if the kid's not at school for this sort of thing. See, it was supposed to be an ancient Arabic punishment for homosexuality to chop right. people off tall buildings. <laughs>